I'm expecting pretty intense shakeups politically around the world in the next year or so. I don't know what all of that is, but it is coming. Some leaders are going to change, and that will bring a shift in some of the activities. It's going to be very interesting to see how the chessboard changes over the next year. But it is coming. And the sovereign Lord won't be taken by surprise by any of it. And he'll be working his kingdom purposes in all of it. Always, always ahead of the enemy, declaring the end from the beginning. But I tell you, things are about to shift in parts of the world over the next year. I wish I knew what that looked like and, and that I could say to you, here are some things that are going to happen. I just know in my spirit this is coming. just say one more thing before I move into a couple other things here. We're going to have to we're going to have to make sure that we don't get distracted by what the enemy's doing. We're also going to have to make sure we don't get distracted by what God's doing. When when things begin to really move um, quickly, it's in the sense of revival. We're going to have to make sure that we stay focused, not just on the, the miracles and the salvations and the deliverances, because that's, gonna, that's going to be very intense in a good way. But we're going to have to make certain, as the ecclesia, that we are not just enthralled with and excited about those things that take place, but that we're also listening to Holy Spirit's strategy to use that to rebuild and move us forward. Because there's going to have to be an element of the church that while, while much of the church, appropriately so, is focused on reaping now, there's going to, have to be another element of the church that is a few, a few years ahead in their prayers and their strategy, their thinking, because while some are discipling the people getting saved, others are going to have to be thinking how we disciple a nation five years from now, six years from now, seven years from now, ten years from now. So there's going to have to be a shift in the thinking of some of the apostles and prophets that God is raising up right now and has raised up. And I don't mean that there's going to be a shift because they're not necessarily thinking and doing what they need to do now. I'm saying there's going to come another level of a, another phase or season of change where when the other people are dealing with this right now, they're going to move on farther in their prayers and their thinking and their hearing and say, you guys take care of this. We're going to hear from God what to do foundationally and how to plan, how to prepare for what he's about to do two years, three years, four years, five years from now. And I'm not so sure, Clay, and maybe you, maybe you would have thoughts on this, but I'm not so sure that the, uh, the, f the, primary leaders of the apostolic prophetic movement have ever really had to do this in the way that we are about to have to do it. And I think it's going to stretch a lot of us in our thinking, in our activities, and we're, we're just going to have to, we're going to have to be baptized in another level of Holy Spirit anointing and river.
the spirit of wisdom will have to increase at the level that the spirit of revelation has increased. Does that make any sense? I'm trying to articulate what I'm sensing up here right now. The spirit of revelation, the prophetic, the hearing, the things that, the prophecy, the dreams, the, the new level of prophetic hearing that has been happening and will continue to happen and go to new levels in the, in the body of Christ will have to now be matched by new levels of the spirit of wisdom from both the prophetic but also the apostolic leadership. I feel even this... I feel such an urgency in what I'm saying to you right now. I've never said this before, this stuff before. I feel like God is saying we need to be praying for a pretty significant shift in, in the mindsets of many apostles right now. And so sometimes when you hear that, you think, you know, people are out of order. Or they're not doing what they need to be doing. And that's not necessarily what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like uh, he's saying it's time to move. It's time, it's time to shift over into another vein, another realm, another level. And I think, um, I think we're going to have to really be careful to press into that. In the same way that governments right now do not know, really so many of them do not know what to do to fix things. Yes. The church doesn't either. And while they have to research and, you know, think and plan and call experts and talk and do, you know, all the things they do, we can't really get most of ours that way. We can convene and we can talk and we can, you know, there's, multi, there's, count, there's wisdom in that multitude of counsel, but there are just some things that we're going to have to be doing in the coming season that there's only one way to get it, and that's by the Spirit of God, from the Spirit of God. That's really not so much for you other than to pray. That's pretty much a word for me. Because I'm going to have to, and Clay, and maybe one or two others, in, we're going to have to tap into that word, Clay. We're going to have to be ready to shift into some new phases of, of God's plan.